Hi, it's Stephen Caleb from Brownells, and we're back with another episode of Smithbusters. But today, we have Chris from North American Rescue to help us out on the technical side of it. So, Caleb, you want to take it? Yeah, sure. So, today's myth, and this is usually the part where I get really long-winded and don't state the myth immediately. Even too late, you're there. Too, too late. <laughs> we're, we've already done it. But, uh, no, the myth uh, today is that a tourniquet is a tourniquet, regardless of anything no matter how small i was gonna say it i'm glad you said it but uh chris is right. uh chris is gonna take it from here and uh go through the myth from the authority so uh here we have the combat application tourniquet again right right uh this is the generation seven um, there are a lot of counterfeit tourniquets out on amazon um, there are folks who do uh, sell uh, the legit Cat7 tourniquet on Amazon as well, um, but be careful. Usually the price point is one of the factors. They look, the pictures look uh, like ours. Um, right. They look, uh, everything looks good. Um, if you're getting a real deal on them, you may not be getting a real deal on them. If you are, uh, if you have a question, you can uh, see if that is one of our distributors uh, at North American Rescue. You know, we have, we, again, we do have distributors who do sell on there. Um, but you need, you just want to be careful because we have a video from Ukraine um, where uh, folks were, they want to do something uh, for the people of Ukraine. So they sent um, a bunch of tourniquets to, I'm not sure where they got them. However, um, we have a video that was posted on social media where the, they were taking them and just breaking the windlasses, taking oh, them and man. breaking the windlasses. So um, it is a, it's a, it's a problem and people are unaware, do not know. They're trying to do, you know, they just want to help and do the right thing. Um, unfortunately, there's people out there who uh, take advantage of that. Yeah. So we want to make sure when we're getting a, a life-saving device that we're truly getting a life-saving device. So if it's not the cat, make sure that it's one, you know, get, get a, a TCCC approved uh, tourniquet. Um, that's what, that is the standard that the American College of Surgeons uses for the Stop the Bleed program. Um, so. Uh, you know, again, just be careful. Uh, uh, and if you, if you, if it seems too good to be true, it, it may indeed be too good to be true. Yeah. And you know, we want to be able to say like, look for these markings, you know, a real tourniquet will have whatever specific markings, but you know, just like the knockoff firearm accessory market, they copy those markings. Yep. Yes. So over the years, the cat has changed. So, uh, you know, some people have some older ones. Um, they do not expire if you have one of the older generations. Um, so uh, over the years, they've changed. So uh, they, uh, you have one yourself that has the yep. white, uh, the white timestamp on it. I do. Um, it doesn't make a counterfeit. It's just an older generation that you, that you still have. Um, we have, you know, the, the subdued now one. Um, there's some from the one you have. Uh, we have the thicker windlass. Um, uh, you know, and, and the back plate's a little stronger. So um, there are older ones out there. Uh, people do have them. They do not expire again. Again, they don't expire. Um, just make sure they're, uh, you know, take a look at them if you've had them exposed to the elements for a long time or, you know, kind of make sure that they're looking like you would want to use it and save a life. Sure. So right? it, just because Nothing's it doesn't torn. look, yeah, and, and just because it doesn't look exactly like this one doesn't mean it's a fake one. Uh, but the moral of the story is buy from a reputable dealer. Right. Otherwise, you're going to get substandard uh, articles. Yeah, and this this reminds me of those uh, law tactical folding stock adapters that people were that they had a company knocking off, and like on the pictures they look like law tactical folding stock adapters. Mm -hmm. But whenever you got them in, they were aluminum instead of steel. Yeah, which there's a reason they make them out of steel and not aluminum. So. Good reason. Yeah, so uh, same sort of situation here. Yeah, it's like you had mentioned before, you know, this is composite, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the one uh, that somebody had sent you was yes. uh, it was easily, you as soon as you got it in your hand, you were like, this isn't right. Yeah, so I, I had uh, ended up purchasing, I'm not going to say any names here, but I ended up getting a Kydex tourniquet holder from a company, and they sent a tourniquet with it. But when I got the tourniquet in my hands, I was like, man, this is... This is kind of fishy. Something's not right. Okay, now a lot of people that aren't familiar with tourniquets might say, well, the tourniquet's a pretty simple thing. What can go wrong with one? Well, let's... Uh, what could possibly go wrong? Chris, what could go wrong? <laughs> well, um, if I'm putting it on you, right, and I have to, and this is going to be under tension, and I'm going to twist this windlass, and mm -hmm. we have uh, substandard equipment that's never been tested, no quality assurance, right, and the windlass breaks, then I can no longer, uh, then I can no longer uh, clip it in in order to you know, stop your bleeding. So now I just have a, 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 a I have a, an nylon strap. 
fashion, <laughs> a fashion accessory. Yeah. Yes, I have an honest drop instead of a, a tourniquet. It's going to save a life. So make sure we, you get them from a reputable dealer. And right. someone in the comments is going to argue, like, oh, I can use my belt as a tourniquet, so what does it matter? And it's like, why, why would you when you have a tourniquet? The, mil the military found out that, the, you know, that uh, makeshift tourniquets don't work, right? I mean, that's what they used previously. Right. And then that's the reason why they went to commercially available tourniquets uh, because, you know, they, they were able to start saving lives and giving them every soldier and, um, and they worked, most importantly, right. you know? So, uh, yeah, makeshift tourniquets, uh, we, we say tourniquets are safe and effective and all that, all that information comes from uh, the military, um, because they, they came from, you know, tourniquets that have a safe uh, working pressure. You know, if I take a, uh, a bungee cord and wrap it around, may I, may I stop your bleeding? I may, but I may cause other damage uh, to, the t you know, to the tissues and stuff. Yeah. So we know that makeshift tourniquets uh, don't work. Right. So well said. So uh, let's just say tourniquet is a, um, or, you know, whether you're deciding to use a tourniquet or, you know, some other knockoff or uh, alternate like a belt or whatever. Um, let's say you're shooting 500 yards. You want to use iron sights or you want to use a magnified optic? Tourniquet your, your magnified optic there. It's going to work way better and it's going to work every time. So. All right. So the myth that they're all the same is totally busted. Busted. Buy good stuff. Buy. We good. keep saying that over and over. Just buy the good stuff. You can't afford it, not Buy to. it once. If you agree or disagree, please leave us a comment below. In the meantime, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, we'll see you next time with another episode of Smithbusters.